Hello, everyone, and welcome to this evening's Order for Compliment. So, it's my hope that you've had a good week since the last time I've seen you. Uh, you've seen me, I guess. <laughs> I haven't really seen you, but I uh, hope everything's going well for you. And if not, you know, know that uh, God is there with you, you know, taking care of you, looking out after you. you know? So trust in him. He'll, he'll be there. He'll never leave you. He'll always be there for us. Before we begin this evening's compliment, let's take a moment to quiet our minds and quiet our hearts. Our order from Compline begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. For those who don't have a Book of Common Prayer, just listen to it, sit back and listen to the words. You know, we'll have a time where we do the Lord's Prayer. We'll have a time where you can do prayers of thanksgiving and prayers of intercessions. So, <clears throat> the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you in thought, word, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 31. Found on page 129. <clears throat> in you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Continuing on page 132. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will working in you that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. 
and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Sing together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all the snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessings be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Continuing on page 134. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we'll offer up our own prayers and our own intercessions. You can do them either silently or loud. Uh, I say it every time, you know, that God will hear it either way. You know, so he'll be there. So, and don't be afraid to, to pray to God, to pray like you were your best friend. Talk with him. Let him know what's troubling you. He'll be there. It's, we're there to support you and hold you up. I'll start with the, the prayer and then I'll leave time for you to add your own. Let us pray. Most gracious and heavenly Father, I thank you for the many blessings that you have given my life. Thank you for the blessings of my wife and family, my children, grandchildren, for the blessings of the parish, for the blessings of all churches, for the blessing of the outreach centers, and all the volunteers who humbly come to serve others, for all those friends that come who are in need, and we're there to help to provide for them, and we do it humbly with grace. Lord, be with those folks who are sick, those who are suffering from cancer, those COVID. Lord, watch out for the firemen, police, EMTs, all those folks, Lord, who put their lives in danger, who tend to the sick. Lord, for all the volunteers throughout the world who do things to help others, not for personal gain, but just to help, to humbly serve as you have taught us to serve and you have commanded us to serve. This time you may add your own prayers and your own intercessions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Continuing on page 134. <clears throat> Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and at sleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. 
For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for the world to see. A light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. That concludes our order for compliment this evening. Get a good night's rest. Sleep peacefully, knowing that God is there. He'll always be there, watching out for you, caring for you. And as I said earlier, don't be afraid to bring your troubles to him. Put him at his feet. He's there, ready. So he just needs to hear from you. So, so until we meet again, God bless. Have a blessed week. Stay safe. And remember that we are the hands and feet of Christ in this world. So use them for the good of the world, as it certainly could use it. Good night, and God bless.